please subscribe to this channel for more videos related to Catholic Christian teaching. The Catechismus Romanus, Roman Catechism, issued by Pope St. Pius V after the Council of Trent, teaches, Of all the comparisons used to explain the mode and manner of this eternal generation, the one that seems to approach the matter most nearly is that which is taken from the intellectual activity of our soul. For which reason, St. John calls the Son of God the Word. For just as our mind, knowing itself, produces an image of itself, which theologians have called a Word, so also in knowing himself, God, insofar as the human can be compared to divine, in knowing himself, generates the eternal Word. Thus the generation of the Son from the Father is to be conceived purely as an intellectual generation or as an act of intellect. The second person is called the Word of God in sacred scripture. This name indicates that the Son is the Word generated by an act of cognition or the product of knowledge of the Father. The name Wisdom, which is a personal name of the second person and therefore indicates the mode and manner of his origin, showing that the Son is generated through an act of commission of the Father. The designation the image of the invisible God or the imprint of the substance of God indicates that the generation of the Son occurs through the activity of the Father which tends to produce a likeness of himself, that is, through the activity of cognition. St. Ignatius of Antioch applies to Christ the designations Word of God, Mind of the Father, Knowledge of God, St. Justin compares the generation of the Son with the coming of the Word from the intellect. Athenagoras of Athens calls the Son of God the thought and the Word of the Father. St. Irenaeus speaks of the firstborn of the thought of the Father. St. Augustine explains the divine generation as an act of the divine self-knowledge. The Father generated by uttering his word, who is equal to him in all things. The Trinitarian procession are the activities of a spirit, that is, knowing or willing. In the divine act of cognition, every reality is present which is essential to the concept of generation. Generation is defined according to Aristotle as the origin of a living being from a living principle united by likeness of nature. 
The likeness, which is essential to the concept of generation, pertains to the act of knowledge only. For by knowledge there is produced a likeness of the object known. An act of will, on the contrary, presupposes a certain similarity between its object and the person willing. God the Father, by knowing Himself, produces the perfect image of Himself, that is, the Son, who is identical in nature with Him. What the object of the divine act of commission is, by which the Father generated the Son, is disputed. According to St. Thomas, it is everything which is contained in the knowledge of the Father, primarily and as though in itself, that which is the object of the necessary divine knowledge, that is, the divine essence, the divine persons, possible things, and secondarily, as a consequence and as though accidentally, that which is the object of free divine knowledge, that is, the things of reality which God decided from eternity to fulfill. Please go to YouTube Retirementality channel, playlist Dogma on God, for the complete series of these materials.